don't know if you could see me, but we made it to the Travel Lodge in Bristol. Look, it's there. And it's midnight and we're trying to get off the bike. Oh, I'm going to go in and talk to him. Well, unfortunately, we've turned up at the travel lodge um, quite late and uh, after a six, seven hour journey on the motorways, we're both freezing cold, very tired. It's gone midnight and uh, we were counting down the minutes, there's Liz. We were counting down the minutes until we, you know, actually got a bed for the night. And it was all pre-booked. And we get here and Travel Lodge say, oh, really sorry, we've been trying to contact you because uh, you've no longer got a room for the night and uh, it's their policy and there's nothing they can do. And uh, basically the young lady on the desk um, told us that we couldn't even stay in the foyer and basically you're out, you're kicked out. So Travel Lodge, we've just, you know, she did make us a cup of tea. It's not her fault. She's only passing on what Travel Lodge, Lodge's um, terms and conditions are. But now, she did offer to uh, um, contact uh, a different hotel. Um, we've been waiting 10 minutes or so and there's still nothing. So I've had to book in to, uh, I, I've tried the local hotels and I found a Premier Inn and that's gonna cost us 150 pounds just for the night as a walk-in. Um, which is nearly double what we wanted to pay at the travel lodge, but um, we've got no choice, have we, really? We just made it in. It's 10 past one in the morning. We are absolutely, absolutely spent. And carry on ruined. Well, thank God the Premier Inn stepped in and saved us last night, but it cost us uh, 150 quid for one night at one o'clock in the morning. So, a bit expensive, but man, when you're tired, cold, wet, exhausted, like Lizzie is right now, I just ain't strong enough. Oh, Lizzie ain't strong enough at the moment. She's run out of energy. <laughs> Hold on, Liz. Let me help you. We just stopped at services. Look at my hand, look. That's all that's left of me glove. It's It's been sun, rain, sun, rain, sun, rain, and freezing cold, and the wind. That's mental, isn't it, Liz? The wind is unbelievable. We're really tired. Look at that. Hot? Not really hot, though. Purple. She ate my freaking sausage roll. No. I mean my Cornish pasty. Come on. I can't. How's your coffee, Lizzie? Lizzie, how's your coffee? Coffee in.
no. First one, first one. Oh, He said, uh, you're not very good at putting up a tent, I, I can see, and I went, come back in 10 minutes. We're at the Wild South West Rally, and we're in a really posh restaurant. Well, that's it. They're off out. Yeah, we're going for a little ride. Oh, yeah. But not with them. No, why not? Did you just wake up? How did he sleep with all the Arnies and everything? Well, maybe that I slept like a, I slept. You must have slept like a log. No, no not brilliantly. Oh, no. oh man, I, I got some really bad cramp last night. Oh, it really did hurt. Um, it's because I've been hanging onto the bike for two days solid. Um, yeah, I don't know. It was very painful. Couldn't move in the tent. Where are we going? We've got to find the range. It's in here somewhere. Look, so, it's somewhere in here. Sun shines. Sun yeah. shining. Yeah. Good turn. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I do feel tired though, because it was like a, a huge snore festival competition last night. Well, on the campsite. Acorns. On the campsite? Oh yeah, it was crazy. I mean, I thought you snored, but boy, I had snoring, snoring. I was in the circle of snore. <laughs> there Stay you go, there, there, you, there you have it. Shut I'm not up. so bad. Take a ride on your widest of horses. Shake the earth, you can do it all, but not today. I'm Pete's. modelling the uh, Pete the Poncho. Pete the Pon <laughs> this is Pete's Poncho. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he's told me I can get one of Made these. Made in the pole, uh, waterproof. In the pole, what the North Pole? You can get. I didn't go for the open side. Pete, you've got I've a got badge. You got your badge on it. What badge? Here, look, come here. You got no. It's badge coming out of Oh, that's coming so at me like armpit thing. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's your. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not the price oh, tag. Don't, don't ask. <laughs> well, you had the price yeah. tag on it. That's pretty good. Now I can't buy that one because you've already got it. But they're no, nobody they're all different. Oh, that's all. They're right. all completely different, yeah, and right. they're made in the pole. And How much? Apparently, they're waterproof. So Pete's Pete runs a choir down here. What's the choir Drickly called? Boys. The hey. Drickley Boys, Male Voice Choir. Drickley Boys, tomorrow. Male Voice Choir. And we're, we're on tomorrow. Put, they're on tomorrow. We're going to watch them. So I'll pass free. I'll pass free. Well, there'll be coach loads coming in tomorrow. Just to watch you lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Simon Cow. <laughs> Go on, show, show it to us. You want me to try it on? Yeah. <laughs> Modeling yeah, so, so, it for us. It's brilliant. I mean, 
all wax and all that for the weather. We're really interested in this poncho because Cornish Cornish Road Dog. Cornish Road Dog's got the best poncho, right? Because it's wax on the outside and soft on the inside. There you go. Do that up. You'd wear that a bit and all, couldn't you? Yeah. Like the other way, as long as it weren't wet. Got, I got it about the front, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I yeah, you, you got it long down the front and short at the back. Yeah. You like that? Yeah. Like I like say, it's brilliant for this weather because it's. Uh, and you can change that yeah, over to good. the other side. And then you can be. That's it. There you go. Hell, yeah, hell, like Mexican. Hell. <laughs> there you go. There we go. There you go. That's a bit of you, isn't it? Hey, eh? that's a bit of you. That is. <laughs> I tell you what, Lee Van Cleef. <laughs> Lee Van Cleef, you take your eye out, eh? Look at that. Hey. Hey. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Didn't think about that. No, I forgot as well. Yeah, yeah. Terry, he's one of the organisers of yeah. the Wild South West Rally. Yeah, that's the public. Uh, 2024. Um, tell us what. Tell us a little bit about the so rally. So the rally, we put Maka and I met Steve decided to put this on in memory of one of our beloved friends, Jason Bragg. So Bragg is, we all know him. Um, so we obviously put this on to support the Cornwall Hospice Care and Charity. And apart from that, we're at kick ass, do some burnouts, get pissed, listen to bands, have some fun. Like, like these guys really know how to have some fun and they've got some awesome bands on, they've got some great apparel on that here, they've got just so many things going on. Do you know what I've noticed since I've been here? It's like, like you're accepted in like one big family. Definitely mate, that's what we're all about. L loads of friendly people, yeah. happy faces and people help you out no matter what. That's it, mate. That's so, right. so what's the what's the uh, what's the plan for the rally? It's going to get bigger. Plan, or? So, well, we're thinking about it. we've just got to find somewhere bigger to do it. Yeah. You know, down in Cornwall is never easy. No, not you know, a lot of land so, left. <laughs> yeah, hopefully bigger, better. You yeah, know, more burnouts, more engine tossing. You know, when is that? When's the engine? That's tomorrow. Tossing? Bit of engine tossing. Right. So, so you big guys, yeah. If you want to, or oh, girls, yeah, come and throw some engines. Girls yeah. trophy and a woman's trophy. Oh, is there? Yep. You know, my wife's got a bionic arm. She's gonna be good at it. She can be oh, like Terminator. Yeah. Let's do it. Have you not seen it? <laughs> no, I want to see it. You need to see the bar and go, dude. All right. Well, thanks for uh, yeah, thanks for a quick chat and uh, right on. We'll get down here and get pissed. Yeah. Man is really busy. <laughs> Always busy. Let's go. Wow. We called him. Oh. Yeah, we went for two weeks at the beginning of the year on it around Scotland. And with Pez of the big. Yeah. <laughs> Two, two weeks, roughly, roughly about two weeks. All my gear on it, no worries. Roll back there, that's it. Um, and I, and I did have a backpack, but it was only for cameras in the backpack. Well. But yeah, look, I've got these nice little boxes that are, they're not very big, but. You've only got gloves in it. Well, when I'm riding, I take the gloves out. 
and then my, I think there was some other bits of going there. You've got two pairs of gloves. All the, all the tools are on the bike. This is this is my spare oil. Apples. Oh yeah, my apples. I'll have them later for dinner. Um, wants a bit, fancy a bit of fruit. That's spare oil in there, and all my spare tubes, and all that's in there. And then under here, you've got a nice big toolbox. BMW toolbox is under here. You've got a lot of tools for the bike in there as well. Pez, have you got a centre stand on this? Yeah, main stand as well. Oh. Don't need to adjust the chain on it, but there's no chain, it's shaft drive. Oh yeah. Beam in, in here I've got the uh I'll take one hand. Oh, my little uh, compartment and a bit of cleaner thing in there, my puck. And that goes down to the battery, so if you want to put a USB charger in there I could. But I don't bother, but you could you could have like a little USB charger and have some GoPro batteries on the go. Oh, I had a GoPro mounted here when I went yeah. around, and then I had it charging. So I had a GoPro always on charge here. So then you'd never have to charge a ca camera. So one camera's always on charge, one camera's on the thing. So you've always got one battery at least good. That's pretty good. This bike is a police bike from Oman. Yes. Would you believe, of all places, did you go to Oman to buy it? No. A, so a soldier had it, a British soldier. Really? And he came back and brought the bike back with him. When he finished his tour, I never got it road registered. So, Peza told me that this has got special um, secret buttons on it that nobody else has got on their one. No, I've taken them all off now. Oh, just taken them off. But it did have, didn't it? It had did all have the flashing for lights. The, for the and sirens and, and the lights and stuff, yeah. I took all that off. Is this, your, this isn't your main bike, is it, Peza? Is it? Who knows? Uh, it's my main. No, it's not. There's no. Well, I think the 650 is my main one. Yeah, you chop and change quite a lot, don't you? How many yeah. bikes you got? At the moment, seven running, two in frames, but seven running on the road and everything. Fifty. That's where you put your coke can. Yeah, it works out. Is um, eleven thousand kilometres. And we've had the engine apart, and, it, and he said yes, this is very low has mileage. Has it gone round the clock? No, no it hasn't, it's incredibly low mileage. And the carburetors are right there, so if there's any problems you can get to it. The servicing's there, dead easy. Who taught you the mechanics of it? I did, just looking Just do it yourself? Just, well, I've got some mates who've got them, but literally to do the service, it's warm still, it's nice and warm. Like, you take the, take the cover off, do your valve timings. Top dead centre, next one. It's got a big old battery on it. Yeah, the batteries are car batteries. Huge. I'm thinking they're really expensive. 48 amp power batteries. There's his bike. Yeah. So, um, follow Pezza because he's a, a wealth of knowledge about riding and travelling and camping. camping, basically living on a motorcycle. This guy knows how to do this. so much stuff. And cheaper. cheaper. Yeah, he's given us so many good pointers. It's unbelievable. This is Pezza's whiskey. Um, what would you call them? Whiskey? They're, they're called Russian mule mugs, technically. This is a Russian mule mug. So vodka or whiskey, whatever. Vodka or whiskey, Lovely. Russian mule mug, courtesy of Pez the Big, <sighs> who's like becoming part of our channel at the moment. No, no. <laughs> you are at you are the moment. Only today.
Get out. <laughs> How's the rally going? This is the organizer. Hey, what are you doing? I'm doing good, man. You? Not bad. Are you having a good time? We're having a brilliant time, and the sun's out. Couldn't ask for better, really. Get that camera rolling at 12 o'clock for the engine tossing. It's going to be rolling. Don't are, you, are you entering? No, I'm not entering. I've got too many things to do. I do all the filming and oh, that. Oh, no, no, don't you dare cut this out. He's not entering. Look at, <laughs> look at yourself. I'm not, I'm not entering. <laughs> How about that? If I was subjected to a Harley, I used to have a Harley and I had that seat. Is it comfy? Yeah. Fucking awesome. Cost me about five and a half hundred quid just for the seat. <laughs> yeah. We're buying we're buying ponchos all made in where was it Kathmandu? Yeah. All made in Kathmandu and none of them are ever the same. I like and that. they all come up more or less one size, don't they? Yeah. So he's going to nick my one. Well. Give me Chloe. Would you mind? Yeah, and it's gone. Bye, dude. See you later. Yeah. We're going to trip. Nice to meet you. Have a good day, all right? We're finished in the market. Par market. We're finished in there. We bought too much stuff. I don't know how we're going to get it all on the back of the bikes, but... Uh, yeah, we're having a really good festival so far. It's been really good fun. Lots of nice people. The guy told me you can. He used to have one. Used to have a little petrol two stroke. Like a three HP or something. It's probably six. <laughs> six horsepower two stroke. You go around the world on that, Pez. No. With yeah. your tiny he's a, he's like you, he's he travelled he's travelled yeah, around the world. Yeah, yeah. Right. And he can pack everything into his hat. Yeah. So that all goes there, all his cooking, sleeping stuff, it's all under there, isn't it? Almost. Yeah. Even your whiskey. It's called putting your thumb out and make friends, is it? Yeah. It's all under your head, so thinking. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. why you drank the whiskey last night, so you don't have to put it under it. Yeah, I don't want to carry it back. It's just <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you later. Look that, yeah, look at that. Look, a bit of paint. Bit of paint it cost there. me 180 quid. What? It cost me I think it's 180 quid for the charity. 180 quid, that's what it cost me. What? He paid money for it. Yeah. You bought it? Yeah. Shut it up. Charity auction. Terry Auction, I, I wanted it. <laughs> yeah, how are you going to get that home? He's got I'm a van. Oh, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. That's awesome, man. I'll put it back cool, up though, isn't it? One brake. On oh, the front. And he's even got a front back brake. You was drinking last night. <laughs> 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 but you didn't realise that, did you? The ped, no. The, ped, the pedals are the brake, so you pedal backwards to brake. Oh, you do? Yeah. But you've still got a front brake. Yeah, just a bit of extra stuff. So you can, they call that a back wheel skid, don't they? You yeah, can just... Yeah, you, you push back. That's what I used to have when I was a kid. Yeah, <laughs> well, I, I've had them as well, but I had cow ones, not chopper bars. Yeah, it's a bit weird to get going, but once you go... has got his eight bars. <laughs> He's not tall enough for that bike, you know. <laughs> he needs heel lifts. <laughs> This is Jo, she's riding around the world. Follow her channel. What's your channel, Jo? Oh, Two Tigers Ride Global. Two Tigers... Ride Global. Two Tigers Ride Rocket Global. Monkey. Right, so watch this lady, follow her trip. She's been everywhere and she's a font of knowledge. Absolute font of knowledge. But we know Pezza. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't know Pezza at this point? <laughs> Everyone knows Pezza. What have Everything you've got is ago. small Pez. Well, except, like except maybe one thing. <laughs> It's bigger than your camera, I think. That's all you need, mate. <laughs> Cooking again. Whoa. Very nice. Professional. Are all the Dreadly Boys on stage? Put your hand up if you're not on stage.
mean, like now, we, we organise, we, we just just go through the timetables, make sure we've got everything, project, just project manage it sort of thing up until this point. Yeah. And the locals that ride with, used to ride with them, and still do, they all came to come out in force uh, and help us. It's a lot of work, isn't it? Interesting fact. So we do something called a rally rudder. A rally? Rally rudder. Hang on. Rally Rudder. Rally Rudder. And that is um, the ride out. Rally ride out. And when me and Steve was planning the first one, the first two, whatever, we used to go for a ride into Port Mellon where we take the Rally Rudder. Port Mellon, yeah. Yeah. And we'd obviously just go down there, have a coffee, sit on the seawall, try and mull things over, have a do stuff. And rudely, people would be like, oh, what are you doing? Oh, we're just going for a ride. Oh, you each other off around back at the shack. It's like, <laughs> so if you go on Urban Dictionary no. and type in Dutch Rudder. No, no. So the running joke is when we do the rally rudder, you're all coming with us on a rudder. Urban Dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to find out for yourself that one. <laughs>
packing away now is the Sunday morning and uh, I've met some really good people over the weekend it's been awesome everyone's loading up the bikes preparing to go it'd be sad to go actually I could stay here another week we are the last ones here more or less everybody else has packed up and gone and we're still going so you know what we're like all the gear no idea <laughs> I'm just really saying enough good things about it really there wasn't any negatives at all was no. there but people were really really good everyone we've met has been so kind so nice helpful the, helpful <laughs> from the organizers all the way down to you know everybody that's camping here we've met some really really lovely people and uh, we we just want to say you know thanks for making our weekend awesome eh? Mm. big shout out to um, the organizers of uh, and especially what is in aid of that's the main thing part of the reason Lizzie and I are the last to go because we're so inexperienced with all this packing up motorcycles yeah like this is Lizzie's bike at the moment right No, there's nothing wrong with it. It's not that bad. I've seen other people. We've seen other people with loads of gear. I think mine's worse. I've got so much gear on now. You know? It's been eventful, put it that way. But um, where are we going to go next, Elizabeth? Bed. Huh? To bed. No, seriously, where are we going next? Well, we were toying on... Uh, the idea of going to uh, Scotland Scotland maybe but we are now thinking it may be just a tad too cold so we are going to uh, be heading to a Portugal yeah possibly going down to Portugal in a week or two something like that maybe three weeks uh, but today we're going down to Penzance to Land's End um, just to have a break for three days I think we book, we've got a booking in a, on a campsite, but it's in a some kind of bungalow or something. I'm not sure, but mm -hmm. but well, yeah. Once again, guys, thanks for the tips and tricks, and uh, we'll see you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Ding ding. Absolutely. <laughs> oh. That's it from the Wild Southwest Rally 2024. And a big shout out to uh, the barber for charging my arm most of the weekend. Thank you. Take care guys, see you real soon alright, look after each other.